Hey, what is going on guys? So today we're going to take a look here at the new Iron Man Mark 46 here from the Eastern Toys Marvel collaboration. Uh, we took a look at previously another different Iron Man version and also the rescue suit in the past. Now, no unboxing for this kit because I'm actually getting this ahead of time, ahead of the release. So big thank you for that. And so the sample that I got was uh, before the boxes are even ready. So I don't have any box to show you guys, but you know, it's a, I'm sure just a pretty standard box similar to what we saw before. And so we can just get right to looking at the kit and it's pretty awesome definitely some improvements over the past one I gotta say uh, but overall if you're familiar with the kits if you've built either of the two previously released kits then you should have a pretty good idea what to expect with this one unlike the rescue suit this one doesn't have any stickers at all so the first Iron Man kit didn't have any and the rescue suit had a lot of stickers and this one doesn't have any stickers on it at all again so that's good it's got a couple of LEDs we'll take a look at that it's got some optional weapons parts optional hand parts a bunch of different option effect parts and the stand and all of that so we'll take a look at all that here to a second let's just take a look here up close at the suit itself first so on the color of the plastic it's basically molded in the same colors as the first one you have that gold which looks really nice and the red which is not metallic at all unfortunately it really would have been nice if that was as well too and the silver which is just a molded silver so only parts that are actually like a plated metallic color is just the gold parts there but again just a lot of really nice detail you have these really thin parts that are like inlaid in here like here in the back of the neck for example it's like a silver part and then you have one two three four five little red parts that stick into there for just a ton of really nice color separation around on this just to go into a little bit of the articulation it's going to be again pretty similar you have a double joint here for the neck one at the base and then one at the top so you got movement up there at the top and then down here at the bottom for a good range of movement there for that. The shoulder armor is connected onto a little ball joint there, which is on a little mechanism, which will allow you to kind of move that up and out of the way if you need to. Uh, for the arm movement, the arm is on a ball joint, which is connected into a little part on the inside of the torso, which will swing out to the side a little bit there like that. The shoulder is kind of tight, but it seems like you can bring it up to about 90 degrees before it's going to start to look a little bit too unnatural and you're popping off that shoulder armor there. Anyway, then the arm is going to rotate there at the top. You've got a nice double joint here for the elbow as well too, which looks pretty good. The wrist is then just on a ball joint there as well too. In the midsection, you've got two points of articulation basically between the stomach and the torso and between the stomach and the waist section. So you've got a ball joint there between each of those places, which will allow you side to side movement. Also some rotation here and bending forward and back all pretty good. And the hip joint is able to raise up and down so you can drop that down for a little bit better articulation that's just on a ball joint but you can also move that out to the side the ball joint will move a little bit so you can get the leg out to the side to about there and it seems like it's kind of dropping a little bit because of the weight of that but then out to the front nice and far as you can see this part of this kind of skirt armor waist armor to moves like that so you kind of set that into place kind of close that all up but then this little gold part here on the side opens up on its own and the whole thing can also move out to the side like that for getting the leg up really super far up to the front like that. Now for our knee bend, here is that nice full knee bend and separation of the armor there at the knee. And then down here at the feet, you have this little part here at the back, which is attached via a little ball joint so that can kind of move around and your foot will move up and down. You've got a separate piece there for like the toe part, which will move separately. So you can put the foot not really far, all that far down and not really far up to the front there either but a little bit side to side here at the ankle and then up underneath the feet, you get a nice full detail there and the attachment point where you're gonna be able to plug some effect parts and we'll take a look at those in a second. But just going back around here onto the back, you have this included piece, which is definitely a little bit helpful for opening up some of these panels for like here on the back. You've got panel here and here which will open up. So again, similar to how those worked on the previous kit, for those that just open up for, I guess, just kind of like uh, flaps there anyway on the back of the armor, but I get some nice detail up in there. So that's cool. But this little piece can also be helpful for popping off the shoulder parts because you've got some interchangeable options here. For if you wanted to have this with the little missiles open. So if you want to have it like that, just pop that part off, swap that out. There it is with the missiles firing out of that part of the shoulder. And then also the forearm, you have a similar kind of thing where you just pop off this panel off the side of the forearm and then you can swap this out here as well too. It's a little bit tricky to do as it's actually kind of three parts that you have to remove to get that off, but you can swap this out for this piece like this with a little missile on there. I also had to take off the hand and we'll talk about that here in just a second, but to have that missile there on the forearm, this tiny little missile shooting out the forearm there is pretty cool. Just kind of a little bit of a pain to have to swap out those parts. Now as 
I was saying for the hand, you see the LED is on, uh, which is not very useful because I don't want it to be on at the moment and it's really hard to get out of there. Once you've got it on, I'm kind of having to poke and pull that out of here with some tweezers. Now, once again, just like with the previous version, this is the LED that is just kind of got the LED and battery all contained here in one. And you turn it on by basically just pressing this down. So you press that and it turns on and it doesn't really light up the hand that much, unfortunately. So just to try it out here, just to show you, here's the hand part uh, like that and just you can't really tell even that the LED is on inside there unless you look at it right from the right angle. You can see how the LED lights that up ever so slightly, but uh, the LED in the hand, honestly, it's just kind of sucks. But it does have those in both hands if you're interested. That said, the LED in the chest and in the head are really nice in that they're just very easy to click and push on. So just like with the first one, uh, you can press on the chest here and press that and the LED in the chest turns on. That's really bright and it's very visible. That one looks great. Just click, push on the chest to click, turn that on. There's a spring and a button up inside there. On the previous version for the head one, you had to take the mask off in order to turn it on, but not with this one. You have this little uh, panel there right on the top of the head. You just press that to turn on the LEDs in the eyes. And again, those are really nice and bright and look great. So super easy to turn on. You don't have to take anything apart, which is awesome. So I love that the LEDs in the body here are really nice, just the ones in the hands just kind of suck. But speaking of hands, let me just go ahead and show you our other different hand option parts we have for this. So aside from the closed fists, you have two different open hands here. You've got one with a hole in the hand and then one without. So that's gonna be for plugging in the effect part into there. And you've also just got a just kind of open resting hand here. So if you just wanna have the hand just down and open like that, you get that nice part in there. So those look great. As for the effect parts that goes into there, into the hands, you've got two different options, a long or short. You've got two of each. So you could have two short or two long or one in one. You can choose how you might wanna do it. The long ones are kind of bent though. So you might want to try to hit that with some hot water or hair dryer or something to just straighten that out will look a lot better. But those will just plug right in here into the hand like that for your effect part, very sharp. But that looks great and you'll see that uh, in an action pose I'll show you here in a little bit. For the effect parts that go into the feet, those are a little bit larger, so they're different shape and those will fit right into the bottom of the feet there like that as well too, which is very cool. And our stand here basically going to be the same as before. You have this big arm on here, which looks like it can hold the weight very well. And then down here at the bottom, you got some nice kind of mirror little paper pieces that fit under there, underneath some clear parts, and that ends up looking very nicely. This actually screws down, there's a bolt inside there. So this screws down into the base, so it's very secure. And you've got this arm, which will attach onto that, which has these little padded bits in there. So even if your kit is painted, you won't scratch the paint or anything using this connection arm. It's got a little locking piece. Just remove this little piece like that and then you can actually open this up and that's spring loaded so that it should stay tight on the kit. And then to make sure that that's got a good grip on your kit, you're gonna want to pop that lock piece back into there and then that's not gonna move, it can't open up again. And then for putting this onto the arm, you just got this little switch that should just keep it tight onto the arm of the base there. And then we've got our kind of main exterior weapon here, which is this big missile pod, which looks awesome. You got some nice gold parts set inside there, very detailed and on the back there as well too. This one plugs onto the arm here with this attachment piece. So you can change the angle of that, but again, just be careful with these parts. They can break kind of easily. And what you'll go and do is here on the back, it's again going to be useful to use this little piece that they give you to pry up one of those little pieces there. And that's where your point to attach this onto an action base is. Plug that onto there. So that's how you'll attach this onto the base. You've got a bunch of options that you can do with this as well too. You can remove this part here on the top and add more missiles. You've got two sets of these. So you can do this on the top and the bottom for the full effect. There's like that with one set and then just remove the panel here on the bottom as well too. And there's for the full set of all the missiles. It looks pretty crazy. Now all these attachment parts, they can't remove that, but all the ones here on the main piece right here in the front, this one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 right there, right on the front. You can remove any of those and attach those with uh, effect part here. So you just pop that off. You'll plug one effect part into there and then one of your clear yellow rods. You've got four of these, all of the same length. They're about 20 centimeters in length, but you could cut them up if you wanted them to be shorter, if you wanted to make eight at 10 centimeters each or so on and so forth. You can change that, but that just plugs right into there. You plug another effect piece, the same one, onto the opposite end 
of that. So it's gonna be pretty long now. And then you've got six of these, sort of like your uh, flying versions of the missiles. So it's got these little four arms in there that you can open up like that. Now, notably, these are much larger than what they are in here. So I don't know if that's just done for effect or whatever, but uh, they're not the same size. So it doesn't exactly look like they'd exactly match. Like this is what's actually flying out of there because it's a different size, but anyway, it just plugs right onto the end of there. So I guess as I was talking about, uh, about uh, cutting this uh, yellow rod, you only have, like I said, six of these, so you would only need six of the rods in total. You have four of them at 20 centimeters each, so you can do the math however you might want to pose that, but at this length, obviously, it's going to be sagging a little bit, so just because of the weight of that, it doesn't weigh a whole lot, but because it's so long, uh, that's going to be pretty lengthy like that. Now, that said, I think that this uh, effect rod here is probably just a standard kind of three millimeter clear rod, which you can get separately on its own, just a standard clear one. You could paint a clear yellow if you wanted to or whatever color you want, but that is pretty cool. And for a comparison, of course, here it is with the Mark 85, the one that was previously released. And man, what a difference. I didn't really think it would be that different, but this one really looks a lot better, I gotta say. I don't know, just slight changes to the proportions and everything. Also, it's a different gold, actually. So the gold used before was a kind of slightly more kind of dull, even slightly greenish gold sort of. And the gold used this time is a definitely a more kind of orangish kind of gold, which looks a lot better, I think, in my opinion, when you see them side by side. Uh, so, man, the old one I, I thought looked great. This one, I gotta say, definitely, I think, looks better. Uh, so there you have it, guys. Uh, another really great kit in this line. If you're a fan of Marvel, if you're a fan of Iron Man, of course, highly recommend this to you guys. But if you want just something different to build, I gotta say, this is probably my favorite of the three. There were certainly some pros and cons with the first two, but I think they're definitely on the road to kind of each release does seem to be a little bit better, I think, in different ways. So this one, I think, probably the best one of the three out so far. So if you had to choose, if you've been holding off, you know, kind of been waiting, you're not too sure about the if you want to pick one up or not, I would say definitely uh, pull the trigger, try to get your hands on the Mark 46 here. Definitely a really nice one. I don't know what they've got planned for the future, any, any of their future further releases, further versions you know, that could be coming down the line where they might make any further improvements. But I gotta say, this one is definitely very nice. Some cool effect parts and uh, weapons that we got included with this one as well too. If you're a fan of kind of the mecha kind of stuff, missile pods and things like that, obviously very cool. So that included accessory works great. So you have some cool effect parts and option parts for that and everything. Works well on the stand, you know, easy enough to use. So you don't really have any problems with that. It's unfortunate that the entire kit is not all plated. That would have been nice if the red was also like a plated red as well too, of course. And the silver was actually like a plated silver. But, you know, at least the gold looks nice. And if you really want to, you can, you know, get, get out some uh, paint and, you know, get to painting your own metallic colors on there. But honestly, in my opinion, I think straight out of the box, it does look really nice. You know, certainly you could go in and do some panel lining or something on that as well too. Maybe add some gloss coat. Even just gloss coat, I think would also help it look uh, kind of even shinier as well too, even if it's not a metallic actual color on the paint. Uh, but that's my thoughts on the kit, guys. I'll just show you a couple of different action poses here just to give you some examples. But what are your thoughts on the kit? Let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, you guys can pick these up at the USA Gundam store. Check out the link and the coupon code there down in the video description. So if you're interested, you know, save yourself a little bit money use that coupon code there as well too uh and yeah really appreciate all your guys' uh, thoughts feedback you know well, liking video commenting subscribing all that's greatly appreciated and helpful as well too so thank you so much for watching until next time guys hope you're all having a great day i'll see y'all later bye, -bye.